This is a major loss for the government. Give me a break. They charged four people with kidnapping the governor. But the, the evidence that came into court was somewhat preposterous, tying the governor up, sailing her across Lake Michigan. I mean, some of it was just <clears throat> preposterous, and the jury saw through that. Now, listen, I understand the jury, uh, they rather the, uh, process, the government can recharge two of the four. But the likelihood that they will do that I would say would be very unlikely because now they've sold their whole case. <clears throat> but excuse me. So the thing about this now is that when the government fails to get a conviction on the first trial on the main charges, it is a major, major loss for the government. And they have to treat it as a loss. If they're going to go ahead and try and recharge these two people, I guess they can. Legally, they can. But I would think that they're not going to do this. This is a major loss. They're going to have to regroup. We saw this in the Hatari case. Just because people hate the government, that's not illegal. Just because people shoot guns, it's not illegal. And just because people say that they're going to kidnap the governor when they don't take active means, legitimate means, to kidnap the governor, then that is okay. It's not. They're not going to get citizen of the year, but it's not illegal. And I think that's what the jury said. There had to be more information. And the jury was probably hung up on some of these weapons charges. The government maybe very well have uh, maybe overcharged some of these people. I mean, one of them, Harris, who was acquitted on all charges, apparently had some gun that wasn't registered. Now, give me a break. When you're really plotting to kill the governor, or not kill, kidnap the governor, what are you going to do? You've got to show more, and the government just didn't do that. And they piled on some charges that I think the jury thought were pretty petty. We haven't talked to the jury yet. They'll know for sure. But the bottom line here, out of all these witnesses, 400 pieces of evidence over 14 days, and they came back in a relatively short time with not guilty on the most serious charges, and then a hung jury on the other ones. Uh-uh. Big loss for the government. I'll send it back to you guys. Is, but Charlie, what about the state case and the two individuals who already pleaded guilty to these charges and then testified? I mean, what does it mean for them? They're stupid. They should have done it. They should have gone to trial. Listen, there's a strategy here. You've got six people charged. The strategy is, do you have a united defense or do you break apart? And some people, those two, broke apart and they took a deal. They testified for the government. But what did it do for them? They weren't believable. So those two are looking at themselves and saying, oh my gosh, what did I do? Listen, it's all strategy when you have multiple defendants. But those two that pled guilty, they'll be sentenced, and they're, they pled guilty to some pretty serious charges. They're going to be sentenced. Now, yes, there are state charges. They're a little bit different than the federal charges. But I'll tell you what, the people in the state case are going to have to really regroup and really see, do we want to recharge and go through another trial on the state case? That's what they're talking about right now. But in this federal case, uh-uh, major loss for the government. They have to admit that. Yes. All right, Charlie. And yes, as you mentioned, eight others are awaiting trial. And it'll be interesting to see uh, how the state handles this one. Charlie Langton reporting live for us.